If you were to hear the familiar wee woo wee woo of a siren head approaching, how would you react? Welcome back, my fellow gamers. My name is Manny McKnight, and today we're going to be talking more about everyone's favorite cryptid right now, Siren Head. There are lots of different ways to deal with a horrifying Siren Head encounter. Just whatever you do, you definitely do not want to be around when a Siren Head comes a calling. For those who are late to the Siren Head party, Siren Head is a creature who was created by Toronto artist Trevor Henderson back in 2018. Since the Siren Head's creation, it has become insanely popular after appearing in game mods and inspiring indie game designers to offer their own spin on what an encounter with this 40 foot tall monster would be like. Is Siren Head a monster or are they just misunderstood? Join me as we explore some of these games featuring Siren Head and the interactions we have with the creature while counting down the top 10 scary Siren Head encounters, part two. That's right, part two. So if you haven't already watched the part one of this list, be sure to check it out for even more Siren Head content. All right, let's Let's get counting. Number 10, Sounds in the Dark. In this game known as Siren Head 1995, the most terrifying thing is just how dark it is. Even if you turn the brightness on your computer all the way up, you'll be lucky if you can see a thing. In this game, you are in the woods alone at night looking for someone named Chad. I mean, if you're friends with someone named Chad, in a horror game, I feel like your fate has been sealed. You def gonna die. The scariest thing about this encounter is the sound effects, which allow you to hear the oncoming siren head and also maybe hear Chad being murdered. Though depending on how you felt about Chad, I guess that could be considered a good or a bad thing. I guess it really depends on why we were looking for Chad in the first place. Number nine, Minecraft mod. YouTuber MC Naveed ended up encountering Siren Head bosses in his house modded game of Minecraft. He hears the warning call of the Siren Head, and unlike what you would expect in most Siren Head encounters, decides to go towards it. Do not go towards it, run away from it. It seems that two giant Siren Heads have been spawning tons of minions and slime, which he encounters along the way. Eventually, he comes face to face with the Minecraft Siren Heads, only to be defeated in one hit. And could you imagine seeing these versions? versions of Siren Head or likely not being able to see them in a game of Minecraft at night. They are terrifying looking. Number 8, Murder Camp. In this game, you're one of the people sent to rescue campers who have reportedly gone missing in the woods. One of the scariest things about this encounter is it looks like the camp you're investigating is some kind of nuclear waste disposal site encased in a maze. What kind of camp is that? It sounds awful. Does not look like a fun camp to me, but okay. You can see a counter for your teammates in the top left corner as you explore the camp slash murder maze, but it will go down as the other people on your team also sound like they are being horribly murdered. When Siren Head does show up, they float ominously towards you and the gun you are armed with seems to have no effect on them. They also look like they are way for thin as they float in between the trees. Number seven, on a date. That's right, this encounter involves you running into Siren Head randomly on a walk by a train track near the woods. It happens in a dating simulator game, so of course what option do you have but to try and date Siren Head to avoid being killed by it? So romantic, who doesn't love dating to avoid death. Any incorrect response you give to Siren Head during your social interactions will result in your certain death via having your head explode. One of the most gruesome ways that it's been explained that Siren Head can kill you when compared to other games. So even though we don't see it, it's still pretty terrifying. Leave it to a weird Siren Head dating simulator to somehow have the most gruesomely described death. Number six, Gary's Mod. This Siren Head encounter comes to us from a Siren Head mod attached to the sandbox game Gary's Mod. This version of Siren Head is huge and actually appears to be one of the closest in terms of the actual character design. Looks the most like the character design to me anyways. Siren Head here is long and spindly, appearing to be half as tall as an apartment building. It has long, thin fingers, which it will use to try and grab you. While being tall grants it increased speed, being even faster than your sprint speed in the game, it also can be a hindrance for this version of Siren Head when it comes to chasing you, as there are certain areas that it will struggle to access due to its enormous size. So kind of more obstacles for it as well. Increased speed, more obstacles. Still pretty scary. 
Number 5. Siren Head in Roblox In the multiplayer Roblox game Bacon, there are two teams. One player plays as a killer, trying to hunt down their friends and kill them, or just possibly delay them before they can complete the game level's objective, and continue on. Each attempt is timed, and the players on the survivor team are trying to complete the objective and avoid getting killed. You can choose from a variety of different skins that you want to wear as the killer, and in this game, one of those skins that you can unlock and wear is that of our very own Siren Head. Yep, Siren Head has even made their way into Roblox. It's crazy. And in the game, Bacon, you can play as or defend against a muscly, knife-wielding version of this creature. Yikes. Number 4. Really Loud Noises LOUD NOISES! The most frightening thing about this encounter is how loud it is. I mean, I knew Siren Head was loud, but geez, turn the volume down if you encounter a Siren Head in this game, or it might actually burst your eardrums not just in the game, but in real life too. In this game, you encounter more than one, uh, let's call them mini Siren Heads, while investigating slash really just exploring some kind of facility. The other thing that adds to the scare factor of this encounter is how dark every room you explore is, making it often too hard for you to see your enemy siren head until it's just much too late. Just because these siren heads are smaller in stature doesn't mean they won't leave you trembling with fear either, especially if you run into a dead end and see them barreling towards you. You're like, I have nowhere to go, this is it. Can't fight them, so you just die. Number 3. Grand Theft Auto 5 Mod that's right, Siren Head may have started in Fallout 4, but this creature has also made its way to Grand Theft Auto. This mod allows you to bring the horror that is Siren Head to Los Santos. When Siren Head makes its appearance, it will be accompanied by a light fog and the blaring of its tornado siren call. In this game, it is an aggressive creature that will attack you and likely will also kill you. And despite how loud it is, it appears to be able to also sneak up on you pretty well and can even affect the radio broadcast in your car, turning it to static. Also, this version of Siren Head is fast, very fast, like can run with your car fast. Number 2. Siren Head Retribution This game is actually fairly well built for those looking for a pretty fun, playable Siren Head horror game. And then by fun, of course, I mean scary. Scary can be fun. In this game, the Siren Head you encounter appears to be pretty smart, which only adds to how terrifying it is. Trashing your van so you can't escape it. You wily Siren Head you. Your objective quickly becomes to get the heck out of there, as obviously you do not want to meet whatever it is that managed to put your van up in a tree. That's terrifying. <laughs> Seems pretty wise as well. I would also want to get out of there. This game also lulls you into a false sense of security, making you feel like you might have escaped Siren Head when perhaps you haven't. And there are multiple endings that you can unlock. The other thing that is great about this encounter is all the lore that is built up around the creature of Siren Head in the game, about it potentially killing kids years before, and lots of other behavioral information on it. When it does pop up as well, it almost sounds like it's all around you. It's really hard to figure out where the sounds are actually coming from, so it can quickly just pop up and attack you. Like that. Number one, full length Siren Head game. There have been talks of turning Modus Interactive's game or another indie Siren Head game into a full length version. Trevor Henderson, creator of Siren Head himself, has even revealed that he's thinking of pitching the idea of a full length game featuring the creature to game developers and possibly working with someone to help create a longer, more professional game featuring Siren Head. The times being as tumultuous as they are means we might have to wait a while before this project will come to fruition. But I'm sure whatever Henderson has in store for the character will be as creepy and disturbing as everyone expects and hopes. I personally would love to see a game where you are trapped in the wilderness, uncover the lore of Siren Head, and are forced to stop it from maybe harming friends who you've become separated from, or just perhaps escape it, as so many other indie games have already done. But I do think the key to making this game a successful horror game would be in the atmosphere and objectives. What would you like to see in a full-length Siren Head game? Which game studios would you like to see attached and involved with that project? Let us know your thoughts on the potential of a full-length game in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. 
watching. What games have you played featuring Siren Head that you have found terrifying? Are there any others of Trevor Henderson's creatures that you think deserve their own game? What other games would you like to see Siren Head added into via some kind of mod? Let us know in the comments below. And speaking of comments, it's time to turn to some comments for one of our latest videos, Top 10 Siren Head Encounters Part 1. Lil Fifi comments, the sound creeps me out. I think the scariest thing about the sound Siren Head makes is actually when it imitates other people. Not even when it's playing its standard sounds, its tornado siren. The idea of something being able to trick you into coming out so that it can attack you and feed on you is what really, really creeps me out about it. Matthew Connick asks, can I get a shout out in the next video? Yes. Yes, you can, Matthew. And that's all the time we have for comments today. Be sure to comment below for a chance to have your thoughts and your feels shared in a future video. This has been Top 10 Gaming, and I'm your host, Amanda McKnight, reminding you to keep on gaming on. Pew pew!